What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba Arena. I want to take a quick few minutes here and talk a little bit about diver training, but before I do, i got a quick question for you. How did you learn how to scuba dive? Did you have an online digital training course or did you do a more traditional classroom course? Well, if you learned prior to 2000, you probably did the more traditional course where you came in for a classroom and you went to the pool to learn a couple of skills. You came back into the classroom, learned a couple more academic sessions or whatnot, then you went back to the pool and learned some skills. And you did this several times, maybe even up to weeks at a time and then you went and did your checkout dives. Well, after 2000, if you do an online digital course, a lot of schools now are teaching where you do the online training, all the academics, you come in, you do a brief review with your instructor and take your test. You go to the pool for a night or two, learn your skills, and then you do your checkout dives. And a lot of people feel that this is a watered down course. Now, keeping personal opinions aside, one thing that I will say is technology has advanced so much since when I learned how to train or learned how to dive that it is easier to learn. Back in the 1980s, when I learned, I had to sit through a 16-week program. Now, that was very difficult for a kid back then. Today, it's so much easier for even for children to learn because they can stay focused more because they're able to visualize what they're learning in their training simply from the online training than what they could one-on-one -on -one with the instructor in the classroom. Now, I want to know from you, do you feel like your training, whether it was online or traditional training, whether it was up to par, and whether or not you feel that divers today are more educated than what they were back then? If you feel that divers today are not educated as much, I want to offer you a free scuba course. All you have to do is be certified. Come to us, take a free audited course from us, and then compare it to what you learned way back then. And then give me your honest opinion on whether you feel that diver training today is up to par with what diver training was back then. Guys, I would like to see a big discussion down below on whether or not you feel that agencies or the instructors have actually watered down training or if technology has advanced so much that it makes that training much easier for students to learn. Let me go down in the comment section below how you learn and what you feel about this topic. Do you think that the online training is a good thing or a bad thing? Guys, if you like this video, simply smash that like button for me. If you got any questions, please let me know. I'll try to answer it the best I can. But guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.